guys, it's Amber. So today I am going to review my bunny challenge for the year of 2021. This is technically the third year of me drawing bunny, well, bunny related art, I should say. Um, this is the second year of me drawing Winston and his friends. If you guys haven't checked out all my other videos, please do so. I will have a link up uh, in the card or, and down in the description as well where you guys can check out last year's bunny review as well as the last few videos I made for the month of April that were all regarding the bunny challenge. So because I do have so many videos that I made over the last month basically discussing everything that I did and my thought process, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to lay out a few little things that I noticed such as from the beginning of the month to the end of the month I noticed that my shading uh, style changed. I went from using mark uh, like pens to and just hatching shading to using markers uh, to do more of my shading. Which you know, not neither one is bad. I like both, but I found doing the marker was a little bit easier on me, especially towards the end of the month. I started getting a little lazy, and I just didn't want to do the hatching anymore. And I like the different colors that I use for the shading sometimes. Another thing that happened was some of my markers actually dried out, so I had to throw them away. One of the markers that died was my Adobe Brown Bic, and that was the significant color of Winston's fur pattern. Losing that color was a bit difficult because I had to go and look at my other markers, and I didn't have another Bic of the same shade. And the only ones I could find that were somewhat close were my water-based markers and those were even a bit darker or too light uh, compared to the original adobe brown color so a little disappointing and it's because of that i ended up ordering some copics uh, i ordered a variety of them just to sort of figure out what color would work best and i did happen to get the right color about five days before the end of the challenge and I just kept using it from then on, which was chestnut, uh, for any of you wondering. And I really do like that color. And, you know, that had a significant difference in how some of the draw. I felt that had a bit of a difference in how some of the drawings looked compared to others because, you know, different shading, it's not always exactly the same. Also, when you compare the three markers between Bic water-based marker and a uh, Copic, they're, some of them are going to streak a little more like the water-based marker did compared to the Bix and the Copic, which are a little more solid, but even the Copic streaks compared to the Copic, or even the Bix streaks compared to the Copic, so, you know, there was a little bit of a consistency error through the month, but, you know, that's okay. It was still fun to make. Um, there was a lot of things going on. I also got new paper, marker paper, which I had never used before until last week. So, you know, that's something. Um, and that kind of changed the way everything looked because I went from using mixed media paper for my bigger draw bunny drawings to using marker paper. And the marker paper is much smoother and less textured than the mixed media paper making I, what to me looked almost like well, depending on the drawings, much better. They looked a lot better and smoother, and I didn't have to worry about bleeding. So, yeah, you know, that was cool. But, you know, like I said, those were just some of the few things that I felt were very significant and a bit of a change that happened over the last month. Um, but if you guys want to know more and see more, I will have uh, a link to that. Like I said, I will have a link to that playlist where you guys can see all my bunny videos. Um, and like I said, that'll be down in the description below. So the next thing I want to cover is what my favorite drawings were that I made this month. Because if I'm honest, I, I have a few of them. So if I had to choose um, a favorite drawing that I made this month, I have to say I'm having a really hard time because I liked a lot of them. I, I thought they were all fun. They were all great. I love the ones I made in the beginning of the month where I was doing all the bubblegum. That was fun. I'd never done bubblegum before, and it almost was doing like a sequential little story thing happening, which I thought was kind of fun and adorable, because it just worked that way. I, I love the Easter drawing I made. The the drawing you guys are seeing me make now was fun, you know, 
Yeah, the drawing I made of Winston walking away with his suitcase, uh, painting, swinging, oh, when he's swinging, he's so cute, jumping on the bed. I like that shark drawing, the one where he's got the shark, that was fun. I, but you know, when I think about it, I, 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 it, had I not, had I, like, had it been like four or five days ago, I would have chose the swinging bunny, the, sw the swinging drawing where Winston's on that swing and he's just going up in the air and he's smiling and he's happy and he's just, uh, it, that was adorable, but a couple days ago when I did, when I got the word pool, I really liked that drawing. That drawing is probably my favorite now because between the having that nice marker paper and then I don't like the thought of it I just all I could picture him with him was him at the pool with his friends and like old photographs like maybe they were scrapbooking or his parents are looking at something or he's looking at something I don't know something about that drawing I just love it I it's definitely my favorite one that I've made uh, this month I'd have to say because that that drawing is so cool and different it's something I, I like the idea of scattered photos and I've tried to draw it once or twice in the past um, but I, I've never actually had it work out as well as this one did and I think that's why I really like it. And I just love it, the like the little corner in his eye pop. Like he's had taken photos of himself, like tried to take selfies or something. And that cute look he makes when he like he's looking be back and everything and at the photo. It, it's I don't know, it's just so cute. I love all the drawings, but that one's probably the cutest one that I think I made overall. And I don't know. It. I just love it so much. Just, oh man, my little heart, my heart is just like, ah, it, it aches because it's so cute. So I'm sure one thing you guys are wondering is, what's the purpose of Winston and his buddies? Um, what is it I plan to do with them? And, you know, I, I think I covered this last year a little bit too, but I honestly don't really know. I wasn't even sure if I was going to draw Winston and his friends again this year, but it just happened. But I do know one thing that I have thought about and a couple things that people have mentioned, and that is I would like to make a book. Um, but not necessarily a children's book. I, a lot of people have told me I should make a children's book with my characters because they're so cute and adorable and they work well for children's drawings. And while I love that idea, the only problem is my stories that I tend to make are not necessarily children's stories. They're more adult, young adult or young adult books. I would young adult stories. I would say, um, if any if any of you have read my Lost Memories, which is the comic I'm working on right now, it's a little more on the. Adult, young adult or like college student kind of stuff. It's it, it, it's a little it, it's not child friendly in my opinion uh, and that's not a bad thing. I like children's books. I think children's books are great. I, I love it's great for little kids but my stories are not little kid oriented. And while I like to draw cute things, doesn't necessarily mean I like to write cute little kitty things. Um, so if I had to say if I, so when it comes to making a book, I don't think I can necessarily go about making a children's book at this time. I feel I either need to have a good, like strong idea. I mean, it took me seven years to start working on Lost Memories. You think I'm going to start making a kid's book out of nowhere? Uh, maybe, maybe not, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that because I need to have the idea. I need to have a, a nice idea or I need to get a writer. So yeah, um, but we'll see what the future brings. I do know what I would like to do though is instead of making a children's book is possibly making an art book. I do think that would be a great idea, especially with my Winston drawings and if I continue to do this into next year. I mean, why not? 
I think it'd be fun to have a have a like a art book for every year that I've made the bunny dr these drawings of Winston and his pals. And you know, I I don't know. It's a thought. I'm still thinking about it. I have to figure out everything for it. It's just a thought in my brain at this moment. Um I will say though, if a writer ever wanted to come to me and work with me, I would gladly uh, illustrate a children's book. Uh, I'm not saying that door is completely closed, I'm just saying at this point I'm not really capable of writing one. So I will say I more than likely, unlike last year where I wasn't sure if I was going to draw Winston and his pals again, I do think I will be drawing Winston and his friends next year. Uh, and everything. I don't know if I'm going to keep calling this the bunny challenge or not. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see what happens next year. Uh, it's just sort of morphing into its own thing and I really don't know what's going on. It's just happening. <laughs> but you know, that's the way of art. It just happens sometimes. I, I know I still would love to do a whole month of watercolor illustrations for Winston and his pals. I just don't know if that's possible. It wasn't possible this year because I have a job as well as doing this and I get tired easily sometimes so I don't always uh, make big drawings or big things every year, every day. I don't make big drawings or illustrations every day. So that's why I have a couple of them that are really tiny in, in just a little sketchbook because I can't make a big drawing every day. Um, I don't know if I could even have the time to make a watercolor illustration, but we'll see what next year brings. Something might change, I don't know. Maybe I'll have the energy to do it, who knows. Um, or just the perseverance, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I do know one thing I'd like to try in the future, whether it's next year or just in general at some point, I don't know when, is and one, and it's a thought. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it's a thought. I would love to actually draw Winston and his pals in like old Renaissance art styles, like taking a classic, um, famous art style, like I don't know, uh, Da Vinci, um, Degas, heck, even uh, what is its name? Um, a Cuit. Like, what is his name? You know, a, a cubist style. I don't. I'd like to try these like really weird things. Maybe I do a Frito inspired one. I don't. I don't know. I would like to try and do that. Just like go take these old famous artists style and just replicate that, but with my bunny, like with Winston and his friends. I feel like that could be fun and kind of like teach me a few things. I have have replicated old artworks before for classes but then put a spin on them. Um, it's fun and I've, I've been wanting to do it like, for a while and I feel like Winston and his pals are a great excuse to do it and so I don't know if I'll do that for one of my child for uh, one of the years in the future or if I'll just do that randomly for fun. I I'm still thinking on things my brain has so many thoughts going at one point for all the, the things I want to create, so never know. I might just draw Winston and his pals outside of the year, outside of April, the month of April. I mean, I did it back in October where I drew Winston as a little witch, so we'll just have to see what happens. But yeah, those are sort of my ideas and my feelings on this. Uh, I will say again, I really do like this challenge that I've set for myself. I find April tends to be a uh, time of the year where I get a lot of um, art block. And so by doing this challenge, it kind of helps me to overcome that. And I think that's the best part of that and the whole purpose in general was to just overcome art block. And I'm happy with it. It makes me happy. I, it's it's fun. It's challenging for sure, but I don't regret any moment about doing it because it is such 
so it is just so much fun and I love these characters so much one thing I kept saying like to, to my grandmother over the course of the last month is that Winston is like my child and so every drawing I make of him is like seeing my child is like seeing your child grow or do something at least that's what it's like to me um, it, it, like drawing him swinging all I could think of was like a little kid swinging I thought out of like my nieces my nephew things like that just swinging and my sisters when they were little and all that you know it's it just that's so much fun it's he's like a little kid that that's one thing my grandma said he's like a little kid and he is in many ways this is a little kid character and I love him he's so cute one thing I will say um, thanks to one of my drawings my husband has now said that it is official that Winston is from England apparently and if not England he's from Europe he's from somewhere in Europe more than likely England though according to my husband just because of the fact he says football and Mal is, is uh, American so uh, yeah that that was just a little tidbit I thought that was that was fun <laughs> to do but yeah I'm I'm happy with this also, if you guys have ideas for Winston's little bunny pal, his little stuffed bunny, please tell me. Um, I would love to, I'm, I'm trying to think of a name for that bunny. I, I haven't found one yet. So if you guys have name suggestions for that little bunny, let me know um, down in the uh, comments. And you never know, I might just stick with one of them. Also, would anybody be interested in plush toys? Because that is something I would not mind making, is making little stuffed toys, maybe. Uh, especially like a little beanie toy of his, of Winston's uh, little bunny buddy. Little bunny toy. I think that would be cute. Um, these are just some ideas I'm throwing out. If you guys like these ideas, or you want, or you have an idea that you'd like to see me do with this stuff, like with these characters and everything, you know, please leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe. You know, let me know what you guys think, what it is you'd like to see more of, because that helps me to get an idea of, like, if this is something I should pursue with and go further on with, and just explore more of, because, honestly, Winston and his buddies are kind of making their own little world over the last two years, and I'm digging it, but I don't know where to go with it is the only problem, and I love the input of others for this. And just so I can get an idea of what you guys like and what you guys want to see with them because I don't know what they're doing I don't know what's happening with them they're just they're their own little entities in some ways they're just taking up their own little time doing their own little thing so yeah let me know what you guys think by leaving comments down below on thoughts that you would you have for this and what you guys would want from this like what kind of merch would you get if you guys wanted merch or something let me know cuz you never know. It, I might be able to do it. I might be able to figure it out. We just have to see where things go in the next couple years or months or whatever. I don't know what's happening anymore. Life's just going on. I'm just going on. My bunny's just going. Winston's just going on. Life is strange. Art is strange. And apparently I'm strange. And that's okay. On that note, I am going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and you liked seeing my bunnies throughout the month. And as always, I hope you guys have an inspirational week and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!